Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my empties video. So this is where I go through all the products I've used up over the last couple of months and review them for you and let you know my thoughts. I feel like this video is going to have a little bit less than normal. I usually have, I feel like, a few more products, but I've also put in a couple of products that I have not necessarily used up, but have gone bad. Like, I've had them for a long time and I haven't gotten through them and they've definitely expired. And I thought I'd pop them in here rather than just decluttering them so you guys could hear my thoughts on them as to whether I'd repurchase them or not. But we will start out with hair care. I have a Tony and Guy Matte Texture Dry Shampoo, which I quite often have in my empties. It's definitely my favourite texturising spray that I've used so far. I don't typically use it as a dry shampoo um, I just use it to add kind of grit and texture to my hair kind of on days like this where my hair is just a little bit like naturally wavy and I just sort of wanted a little bit of something in it but I haven't really overstyled it I am actually really keen to try a different brand I think next time so even though yes I've repurchased this like 10 times probably it's very well loved I'm really really keen to try more of the Kristen S hair products that you can get at Priceline um, so I think I'm gonna buy that one next time try it out and if I hate it I won't buy it again and I'll go back to this one but yeah would repurchase but actually this time I think I'm gonna try something else this gets a little boring, you know, if you're using the same thing all the time. And then I have a Batiste dry shampoo. This one's not actually completely finished, but nearly. And I've decided that I won't repurchase this one. I really love the Aveda dry shampoo. It's like a non-aerosol one. They just kind of puff into your hair, and I love that. love the fragrance of it. I love just the fact that it's not aerosol. It doesn't get as much sort of dust around my bathroom and I just really prefer that one so I'm not going to repurchase this one but it is a good product especially if you are on a budget being nice and snappy with these today <laughs> quick reviews and then I have a L'Oreal Alnet hairspray I think I have a backup of this when I did my big bathroom declutter I had two unused unopened bottles and I just decided that I didn't need two backups so I donated one of them because it was completely unused to a charity and I kept another one I will try and use that one up but I do really like the Aveda one that I'm using at the moment as well just Aveda hair products kind of changed my life this year <laughs> so yeah I like this I've definitely repurchased this again probably probably more than 10 times like ever since I started using hairspray as like a young teenager so it is a product I love and love going back to but again I like experimenting so I think I will actually try branching out with my hair products over the next wee while. I finally finished up this Redken Blonde Idol shampoo. I really loved this. It's really just a very soft sort of caring shampoo for like quite damaged or bleached hair. Um, I really, really liked it. I would consider repurchasing it. I am using an Aveda one at the moment, which I like the Aveda shampoos and conditioners and stuff, but I think I prefer their styling products. That's why I really love their stuff. So I'm not sure whether I'd necessarily repurchase their shampoo. I'm using it up because it was sent to me in PR, but um, I did really like this one and I would repurchase this one. Uh, and then I also used up a Kristen S, uh, the one purple conditioner. So this is a purple conditioner. I did really like this. I way prefer the shampoo. Like The shampoo is like one of my favorite hair products in the moment. But I've repurchased the Kevin Murphy Blonde Angel, which is a purple conditioner kind of treatment. And that I find so effective at toning my hair, like a lot more than this one. A lot of you were asking, did I go back to the salon and get like a toner, another toner put through my hair because it's been looking really kind of almost pinky, kind of lilac-y in some lights. And that's actually not, I didn't go back and get a toner. I've just been toning my hair at home with my Kevin Murphy Blonde Angel. That stuff's amazing. I really like the colour that it gives my hair. Almost like a rosy kind of gold colour because of my like darker roots. So yeah, I'm not sure I'd actually repurchase the conditioner. I've definitely repurchased the shampoo a couple of times and I really like it. But I think the conditioner I'm going to leave for now. I want to talk about a soap that I used up. So this is the Murchison Hume Refill. It's their superlative hand soap in the fragrance Original Fig. Love the Original Fig fragrance. I have all of their like cleaning products and sort of like personal care products in my house. Like soap dispensers and stuff. And I love that you can buy big refill bottles that don't have like pumps and stuff because it means that this is fully recyclable um maybe you can't recycle the cap but like it's a very small part and you can recycle this whole thing as opposed to rebuying soaps with the pumps because the pumps and stuff are not recyclable so that's why i buy these refills um i nearly finished up this the la roche posay thermal spring water this was again from my like bathroom declutter there are a couple in here that i decluttered in that sort of bathroom declutter and I've put in here just because they were empty and some of the products I was able to donate some I've kept for friends to pinch and stuff so yeah the products that have made it into this were the ones that were pretty much nearly gone so um a, there is still a tiny bit left in here though but I think I'm actually going to use this up on my plants 
don't laugh, I know. Um, and sometimes when you live in a very air conditioned space, which sometimes when it gets really hot here, like we really do have to have the air conditioning on rather than like the doors open. Uh, and it can really dry out the air in the house and my plants really suffer, my beautiful tropical foliage. Yeah, so I like to mist them occasionally, particularly like ferns and stuff that can really suffer in the humidity lot or lack of humidity you could say. So this works really well because it's an aerosol, it kind of mists very evenly. Um, I know that's really bougie, I'd never go out and buy this just to mist my plants, but I'm going to use up the rest of it um, on my plants because I've got a really nice Caudalie spray in my cupboard that I'm going to keep using like on my face but uh, that one will be nice for them. It's just literally water on a can, that's what's so ridiculous about it, but I, I just love the application method. <laughs> I've been through a couple of these, but I did save one box so that I could talk to you guys about it. It's the Dove Pure and Sensitive Fragrance Free Soap Bar. I go through one of these, I figured it out. I went to Canberra and I took a whole bar with me and it lasted me the entire trip, but I used it up by the end. Like. I was amazed that it lasted the perfect amount of time I was away. So one of these, yeah, definitely lasts me about three weeks and that's because I wash my face halos with it as well as like my body in that. So it's kind of, again, double purpose. I like it because it is fragrance free so it feels a bit safer to use over like more sensitive areas. It's very affordable, comes in cardboard packaging. I finished up this little sample that I got sent from Mecca. So I recently placed a Mecca order for some eyeshadows and this came as a free sample, which I didn't know I was getting. I was really excited. It's the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. It's just a little size. And this was on my wish list about a wee year ago when it launched and so many of you were like, Anna, don't buy it. You'll hate the scent. It doesn't actually smell like coconuts. And so I didn't ever end up getting it, but I was happy to receive it for free to try. And I must say, you guys were quite right. The fragrance is really intense. This smells like the Glass House Vanilla Caramel Candle. So it's a really sweet kind of like caramelized almost like popcorn-y kind of smell. Oh, it's strong. Would not repurchase this product. Not a huge fan of like super foody scents on my body, especially in body lotions. I don't know, I just feel like throughout the day it can kind of mix with your natural body scent and just smell a bit wrong, a bit off. I prefer something like I'm wearing today, a Neroli sort of flower scented body lotion. It feels a lot fresher and like that's a nice fragrance to smell throughout the day, but this one just wasn't. However, I had adored adored the formula oh my gosh there's something about this cream that is so unique it's called a moisture magnet oil and water body cream they've got that purple one that they sell that i'm wondering does it have a much nicer scent and is it the same formula as this because i would buy that because i loved how moisturized this made my body feel and like nourished and oh my gosh i loved the formula just can't stand the scent so i wouldn't buy it again for the scent but would love to get this exact formula and another scent so let me know I finished up all the cartridges on my Venus razor. I decided actually not to continue to buy refills for it. This is one that you, you know you can pop off and you just buy the plastic refills. I've had this actual razor for like years. Alex and I made a decision we didn't want to keep buying the refills for our like plastic razors because it just felt so wasteful. They're not recyclable. They are so much just plastic that you're throwing away like every couple of weeks down to the packaging that the cartridge actually comes in as well as the plastic itself. So we invested in some double-edged like old school razors that like your grandparents probably would have used. Um, I got them from this brand Cappy or Cappy. It's just an Australian brand. I just looked up like double-edged razor online and it popped up as like one of the first shops. Um, so the box and the packaging, everything that it came in was completely like recyclable and the, the actual postage bag was a compostable which is very cool. This is the razor I got so it's completely metal. Every few weeks you just replace the double edged razor inside which is just a metal razor. I am trying to figure out a way to sort of sustainably and safely dispose of the actual metal razors because it can be quite dangerous obviously to just put them in the trash or in the recycling. Like there are recycling programs but I think I'm going to just save them up in a jar and deal with that in a few years time. <laughs> Um, but the good thing is that there's no plastic. However, just note, this is the gold colour. I ordered it thinking it was going to come and be like yellow gold, but it's definitely a little bit more on the rose gold side. They do sell an option called rose gold too, but that one's even more kind of coppery and pink. So just be aware, their one that says it's matte gold is not actually super gold. It's more like a rose gold. But um, yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of this. Sadly, I think I just have to throw this in the trash. I don't even think I can recycle like the body, which sucks, but at least I know from now on I'm not going to be contributing to like plastic waste with my razor. So I finished up the Simple Kind of Skin Foaming Cleanser. I actually really liked this and I would consider repurchasing it in future, especially if I wanted just a really cheap foaming cleanser that I could pick up at the supermarket. Like this was, I bought this for my like supermarket skincare 
experiment way way back at the start of the year and this was one of the products I really liked um, it's just very basic very kind on the skin there's no harsh sulfates or anything so yeah I really liked it but I did probably like this product a bit more so this might be one that I would maybe consider repurchasing if I've got time to wait for it to arrive because it is by Soonjung it's the Etude House Soonjung pH 6.5 whip cleanser so this is a really gentle fragrance free foaming cleanser this is the small size the travel size I loved this this was really nice to use um, but yeah just because you can only order it from yes style obviously I'd have to be sort of proactive enough to order it in time for my fo if my foaming cleansers all ran out but if I had to yeah I'd happily get the simple one again in a pinch I usually use just foaming cleansers in the shower typically at night like after I've taken my makeup off with my um, face halo I'll just use a foaming cleanser because it's kind of easy in the shower I know that people say not to wash your face in the shower because the water's too hot but I don't actually like very hot water in a shower anyway I kind of like it just like mild you know otherwise I start to feel really faint <laughs> after a while so I feel comfortable washing my face in the shower but I know some people it's a big no-no uh, but in the mornings I typically like to use something that's a little bit more like a creamy non-foaming kind of cleanser um, this is one that I really like it's the CeraVe hydrating cleanser you can buy this in Australia now from Chemist Warehouse which is very cool I got this originally from iHerb but yeah you can buy it in Australia at Chemist Warehouse which is very cool and they have the big ones with the pumps and stuff as well this is just a little teeny tiny travel size because I just wanted to kind of try it out I would consider repurchasing it although I do really like the Neutrogena ones as well that are fragrance free and that are very similar kind of hydrating and non irritating kind of formula I do like those as well but yeah highly recommend this one it was really nice then I went through two sunscreens as well so the first is the Etvos skincare mineral UV serum I really really liked this one a lot it's got really nice like skin caring ingredients in it it's packed with lots of things to hydrate the skin but it also offers you like sun protection it is only SPF 30 though I believe 35 sorry and PA++ so it's not like your highest protection therefore this is one that I like a little bit more in the cooler months like the winter when the UV index is really low but this next one is one that I typically use when it is a bit warmer I've already got a backup it's the can make mermaid skin gel UV so this is SPF 50 and it's PA four pluses so it offers very very high protection I love the way this one sits under makeup and it is a lot cheaper as well like that Airbus one is really expensive but yeah these are both really great sunscreens would highly recommend I also finished up a Clinique moisture surge this is the 20 27 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator so it's basically their hydrating moisturizer really really loved this product as you can see scraped the barrel um would absolutely consider repurchasing i'd probably get the larger size they sell because that way it's better value and you get a lot of product but then you've got to look at the fact that you can get some really good ones at the drugstore which are also in my opinion kind of just as effective like the neutrogena hydro boost gel cream or the huda Lobo hyaluronic moisture cream those products are equally as good and they're a lot cheaper so it's kind of like mm, I don't know if I'm feeling bougie I might repurchase it <laughs> Mr. Morton went through a little Lala retro mini he absolutely loves this he swears by this product he is not satisfied with any other alternative that I have bought him over the years to try and wean him off something quite so expensive he does have a really really quite dry sort of flaky skin especially around his beard so this uh, he finds works really well and he swears by it but last night I used this the rubber mask clear lover from Dr. Jart this has been sitting in my skincare cabinet for a long time I bought it because I thought the face was absolutely hilarious and I was just intrigued to try it I'm not the biggest fan of sheet masks I typically prefer the masks that come like in a pot that you can just like scrape out and put on your face they're way more economical this had so much wasted so much like plastic waste just for one use and I find them to be so much more effective as well so this was fun and to be honest this is probably one of the best sheet masks I have actually used I noticed my skin did feel extremely hydrated after I think because it does have that rubber thing that you stick on top and it just really like seals everything in um, so I did enjoy it a lot but it is about $18 or something and it's one use and I'm just like is it worth it probably not especially not to the planet that feels just very wasteful just for one use and there was as I say so many just disposable elements in it whereas I can pay $50 for like the I'm from honey mask and that gives me like 12 uses in the pot and it, you know it's just way more economical way more eco-friendly because it comes in a glass jar yeah so don't know if I'd repurchase that rubber mask but it was certainly fun to try I have a candle that I used up well it's like nearly used up but I can't really burn it anymore it's the palm beach rosewood and balsam 
mini candle. I got this actually about a year ago um, and I'm kind of bad at burning candles at the moment. Like I used to burn them all the time. Now it's only really if it's a special occasion I'll put one on. I need to like get back into a routine of using up my candle stash. But I liked this one. It has kind of quite a festive sort of scent to it. But like nothing too, you know, spicy or anything. It's just like got that slightly woody sort of smell. Um, I did like it. I probably wouldn't go out and purchase it myself. I got sent this in PR. It was fine, but not one of my favourites. Um, I also used up my little tea that I bought in Covent Garden while I was in London. It's from Wittard. I think that's how you pronounce it. Wittard? And this is their yeah, Covent Garden blend. So it's like their special blend from that store. Um, it says it's black tea with 4% marigold, safflower and cornflower petals. And I tell you what, this was really, really lovely. Um, if I was back in the UK ever, I would definitely pick up some more teas from Wittard. It was, it was very enjoyable. But I, I must say like nothing any better than like what we get here in Australia at T2 and stores like that or especially the Tea Palace in Sydney. Oh my gosh that place is amazing. I really enjoyed it and I'd absolutely buy more if I was in the UK but it wouldn't be something I'd be like trying to source online or anything. I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink because it's quite hot here today. These are cute. I think these are by Coles brand. They're grapefruit tonic waters. They're really nice. It's like 30 degrees which is why I'm in a, a little dress. No bra. <laughs> keeping as cool as possible. I've got a beauty blender sponge that I've used up. This is one of the beauty junky ones. I think it might have been my last one that I had. I really enjoyed this sponge. I'm not sure I'd necessarily go out and try and find them again. Like they were sent to me kindly as a gift from a subscriber and I really enjoyed using them. Um, and I thought they worked very well. They are very similar to a beauty blender. I just prefer like slightly softer, fluffier texture like the um, Flower Beauty sponge <laughs> and the um, Ella Cosmetics sponge. Those ones just a little bit more like plush and that's just my preferred sort of sponge texture. But these are really nice. I enjoyed it. I went through my Flower Beauty Lash Warrior mascara. This one I had in the shade Fierce Brown. I loved the color of this but I wasn't a huge fan of the formula itself. I'm going to keep hunting for like my perfect brown mascara. What I want in a brown mascara is something that isn't too like clumpy and intense volumizing, but I want it to be really lengthening and just like very, just a beautiful lash. I don't know. I don't want anything too heavy because when I'm going for a brown mascara, I want it to look natural. Like that's the point. But I also want it to, just, yeah, really lengthen more than anything. I just didn't find this one did it for me. It wasn't quite right. Um, but I did like the colour. It was a nice true brown. FYI as well, if you're in Australia, this video sh is going up tomorrow, so hopefully the sale's still going. But Chemist Warehouse are doing like 50% off cosmetics at the moment. So I popped in there yesterday and I bought another Flower Beauty eyeliner because I had their brown one. So I bought a black one. Love their like just standard sort of pencil long ring eyeliner. And I bought a couple other things as well from other brands. But yeah, 50% off like all the cosmetics so a lot of the flower beauty products are half off so these mascaras are like five dollars so even if you're just wanting to try them see whether you'd like them now's the time because they are five dollars that is insane I got my eyeliner for four dollars that is an ins that is an unheard of price in Australia like flower beauty products are really affordable anyway for Australian pricing and then to do half off I'm just like that's like cheaper than essence makeup here so definitely the time to buy I'm going to declutter this the designer brands eyeliner. This is their Pigment Plus eyeliner in black. I actually really loved the formula of this. It was a great eyeliner. I used it for so long but I just think the quality of it in terms of like its longevity is not great. The packaging it's flaking a lot so every time I use it I get these little silver specks all over my hand and that ends up on my face and for a while I was going like what is that glittery product that keeps ending up on my skin and it turns out it's just the cap that's disintegrating. It's like a weird reflection on my face today and I just don't, I can't figure out where it's coming from. I've got no mirrors under me. I'm just like, what, what is happening? Do you see that line? I'm so sorry. There's not a lot I can do. I can't seem to figure it out. The actual island is broken off as well. So I have to keep putting it back in and sometimes when I open it, it'll fly out across the room. So I'm like, I'm done. I've got so many other black eyeliners to use now, including that new flower beauty one. I can pass this one on. I did really like it, but I, again, I'm like a little unsure whether to really recommend it now. I've got three concealers to mention, two which have gone bad and one that I just didn't like enough to keep. So it's the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I talked about this in my UK haul. This was just average, really average. I feel as if like back in the day it was good, but concealers have come a long way and it just didn't perform like it I used to kind of imagine. And the, the color Extra Fair Zero was way too yellow for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna like get rid of that one. And then these two, the ColourPop 
concealer and the Kylie Jenner concealer. They're made in the same factory, but they are different products, but they both just do not have longevity. I find liquid products from Colourpop to have very short shelf life, like you're only going to have them for a year max. I will show you guys, like I know that I could mix this up, but I've mixed it up so many times and it just starts to look chunky and gross and it's also starting to smell really bad like that chemically smell that's when you know it's gone bad and the Kylie Jenner one has the exact same smell um it's a little bit less separated like I felt like I could really mix this one back up and I've actually used it recently it kind of still performed okay but the fact that the scent is going on it I'm just like there could be really like dodgy bacteria in there so uh, I wouldn't repurchase them just because they don't have the longevity and both of those two formulas are quite similar to something like the Too Faced Born This Way concealer the original one that's a kind of hydrating and radiant and that one I've still got one of those I've had it for like two years and it's still perfect like it smells absolutely fine it works just as well as it did so I feel like that one just has better preservatives in it I don't know I'd rather buy that one than the Colourpop or the Kylie one and then finally what are we down to we have three products left the Essence Prettifying Lip Oil I got sent this kindly by my subscriber Tammy quite a while back and I've completely used it up I was scraping the barrel on this I absolutely love this it's my favorite kind of lip oil treatment she also recently sent me a new one I can't quite remember the brand but it's like a nourishing lip oil it's like either chapstick or one of those kind of more main lip treatment brands and it is really nice but I prefer this one so if you can ever stumble across this because it's not available at our essence stands here in Australia it's the essence prettifying lip oil it is so nice I would highly recommend um, and then I've got two kind of fragrancy products as well um, I finished up the replica beach walk rollerball or there's like a teeny tiny tiny bit left but yeah pretty much used this up while I was in Canberra I loved loved the scent it has such a strong scent memory for me too because i only ever take these away on like vacations or holidays or trips so for me when i smell this it just takes me back to travel and cool experiences so i really love that one i would definitely buy that again particularly reminds me of perth because i would wear it when i went to visit alex over in perth earlier in the year so very special i also finished up this the deep sleep pillow spray from this works um this is like a little pillow spray that you spray on your pillow and it's meant to like make you feel calm and go to sleep um I finished this one up while I was in Canberra I actually really liked it I know it's a really like extra kind of product it's not necessarily something that people really need I mean you could even just put a couple of drops of an essential oil like lavender oil in a bottle with water and spray that on your pillow like you can DIY those sorts of things um so I'm not sure whether I'd necessarily be like yeah go buy the this works one but if you want to or you know want to treat yourself then it is lovely I do actually have a full size by my bed that I'm using as well Alex hates it because he's like oh, it's too strong like too much fragrance and I'm like mm, make me go to sleep like I love lavender but um, he's not as convinced <laughs> uh, but yeah I definitely think you could DIY something like that with just a little spray bottle for like two dollars but yeah that is my video today those are all my empties the last couple of months actually ended up being a lot more products than I thought they were just all very small sizes I just looked at my drawer and it didn't look very full so I didn't think I had enough but I definitely like I've been filming for 35 minutes so I definitely had enough to talk about but I hope you enjoyed this video I mean you guys always seem to respond really well to my empties so I keep making them uh, but it's always helpful if you can give the video a thumbs up because it does let me know um, and if you are new here and this is the first empties of mine you've ever seen then definitely subscribe because I do make them regularly along with other beauty and lifestyle content. Also if you missed my last video I've launched a website lifebyarnaelaine.com which has lots of blog posts already up on it. I only launched it a couple of days ago but I'll have a link to that in the description too where you can go check it out. And you can also sign up for my monthly newsletter using the form on the homepage. Thank you so much to those of you that have already done it. I think I've had about 300 signups, which is very exciting. So thank you so much. Um, I'm looking forward to making my first newsletter for December. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.